God's masterpiece. Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Uh, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourn. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Art Skills with Pastor Steve because I've got the mad art skills and I'm going to pass them on to you. Now today we're going to do something that's super fun, but it's all about inspiration. It's all about feeling the music because today we're going to paint by music. So I've got my paints, I've got the brushes, I've got the plate, and I've got my playlist. And I'm just going to let the music inspire me. And you know what? Just between me and you, there's a good chance that what happens here is going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. All right, let's get to it. Our paint's ready. Purple. Everybody likes purple, right? I think. <laughs> don't really know. Red, great color. Everybody likes red. You don't like red, you have problems. One of my favorite colors ever, orange, love orange, and a little black, and I don't know, how about some silver, right? You like silver? Doesn't matter, because I do. Now, what we do is, I take my brushes, and you don't really choose the brush initially. You let the music decide that. So, I'm gonna play the first type of music, and I'm gonna let it inspire me, and that inspiration is then going to appear right here before your... It's my mom. How, do, how does she know? Hey, mom. Um, hey, could you do me a favor? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the show and I need my phone. <laughs> I'm painting with music. Yeah, I know you have to actually use brushes, but what I mean is, hey, can I just call you back, mom? How about that? Yeah, all right. Love you too. Bye. Just gonna play and just see what happens. All right, now we're gonna play a different type of music and just see what happens. Yeah, I really felt 
about that. Feel the music. All right. I could feel that one. Did you feel that one? Boy, I did. That was great. Now look, I told you what could happen here. Could be sheer brilliance. I think I did it. Choosing different types of music, it inspired me differently. Just as I was choosing music to inspire me, Joshua was chosen by God. You saw in the Bible story, God had Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, but God was training up Joshua to one day take Moses' place. And all those years, God was preparing him to do what he was chosen to do. And did you know that as God's masterpiece, God has chosen you? You know, if you've ever tried out for a team and didn't get picked, it's a bummer. Sometimes it makes us feel like nobody wants us. It makes us feel like we're not very valued. But guys, regardless of any of that, you have to understand that as God's masterpiece, he has chosen you. He's chosen you to have a relationship with him. He's also chosen you to do something very special in this world. But you know, if I was choosing a team right now and I was picking each one of you to be a part of that team, I could choose you, but you have to agree to be a part of the team. You see, God's chosen you. The question is, have you chosen him? Because God's not gonna force himself on you. He loves you so very much. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins so that you could be forgiven, so that you could spend eternity in heaven with him one day. But guys, it doesn't just happen because your parents know the Lord. It doesn't just happen because you come to church. It happens when you make a decision. You choose Jesus to be the Lord of your life. When you do that, you have chosen to be a part of God's team. And if you've not done that, you can do that today. And it's very simple. The scripture says that all we have to do is tell Jesus that we love him, that we're sorry for our sins, and that we want him to be the Lord of our life. And that means we're surrendering our life to him, saying, Jesus, I belong to you, and I want to be a part of your family. And if you've not done that, you can do that right now. In fact, would you just, where you are, would you just close your eyes? And if you've not asked Jesus to be the boss of your life, you can pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I love you so much, and I'm sorry for the sins that I've committed. I ask you to forgive me of those sins. Just take them away, and I ask you to be the Lord of my life. I surrender my life to you. I choose to be a part of your team. Will you be the Lord of my life today? In your name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer today, you are on God's team. And I would love it if you would let one of the leaders in your room know that you prayed that prayer and that you made Jesus the Lord of your life today because you're his masterpiece. And I hope that you have chosen him. All right, guys, I'm so glad that you were here. Join me again at Mad Art Skills. Subscribe, like, all that jazz. Stay tuned because I'm gonna keep rocking your world with more Mad Art Skills. Love you guys, see you next time.